At the Women's Congress, we believe in tapping in to the fierce spirit of women. You, you who are the change makers, you who know how to live in difficult times, you who are leading the way forward, creating and telling the new story, learning to live into a more just, sustainable, and spiritually awake world. It is you who are leading us to a brighter future. We have a long way to go to figuring out um, how we shall live together, how we shall find the path to what is a future that's worth leaving to the children and to the grandchildren. This is hard work and it is painful to build relationship under the legacy of oppression. I'm here to acknowledge pain as the unseen and unspoken, but not unfelt presence in the room. I want to acknowledge privilege as another unseen and unspoken presence. When we commit to build beloved community, it means knowing and being with these companions. The call to leadership is to understand your own trauma. All the prayers, the journeys that you have gone on have brought you to this point in time. Right now, when things are so hard and stressful, we need a new kind of leadership. Leadership that's more ambitious than not only how much money you make, but how much you can actually heal others and help others. For me, the movement is about restoring relationship and wholeness so that we're not just continuing to see that all these things are disconnected. And like our auntie and grandmother over here so wisely said, it's, it's about remembering. And it's about cutting through the amnesia of the times because we have been deeply, deeply in our trauma and the PTSD and all of these things we've, we've shut down, you know, and we forget that everything is so intimately connected. If women can join together by proclaiming Me Too, acknowledging the pain of sexual violence by men who have wielded power and domination over us, perhaps we are moving toward a time where women of all races and ethnic groups can join together to dismantle the long, long reign of white supremacy. To join together to acknowledge the detrimental effects that racism and sexism has on every single one of us so that we can then move forward toward peace and harmony. And we have all been called, and you came. If you are here, you heard the call, and you chose to come. You chose to be here now. Look around you. See who is here with you. We are the ones we have been waiting for. An invitation has been issued. The role of guardian is available to all of us. What will you choose? Every single of us are guardians. Uh, every single of us are grandmothers. Um, this group, every one of you, I feel compassion, I feel hope, I feel respect, I feel kindness, and I feel love. Those values that we need to have, to have a different world, and are in this space. So, the only thing that I would love to ask in you, if all those values and principles that we embrace, we practice. Let's do the talk the talk and walk the walk. And we are the past, we are the present, and we'll be the future. The earth has a fire inside, and that's what keeps the earth going. And we each have a fire inside. And it's up to each one of us to fan those flames, to keep those flames burning. And 
So whatever it is that keeps your fire burning, whatever you need to do to fan those flames, do it. Oh, it's a promising sky. We're walking under. Promising sky. Lightning and thunder. Promising sky. Here comes the sunshine. Promising sky. It's yours and it's 